Hey there. Got the time? Well, one of the five love languages is quality time. And thanks to ICOM, in this holiday season, they have given us quality time. At the tone, zero hours, 25 minutes, coordinated universal time. Welcome to Transmitting Until Robots Replace Us. My name is Drew, call sign AC3DS. And today I'm gonna to show you a little bit about the new software from ICOM called Time Adjustment. I'm actually kind of excited about this. ICOM has just released new software uh, for Windows and Android uh, to be able to synchronize the time from your computer, the NIST, the National Institute for Standards and Technology, the NIST server time with your radio. And that's actually kind of important for a number of different reasons. But one of which is just because it's really cool to be able to have two radios that are perfectly synchronized. And not just two radios, but two radios and WWV. which is broadcasting the time constantly. And to have it be even a little bit off is incredibly frustrating. Now, is it really that important? No, but it's really that important, yes. So, thank you, ICOM. Thank you for this early Christmas gift and for allowing us to have something really neat like this. Now, the ICOM 705 and maybe a few others have had the ability to connect to the internet directly to be able to pull the time from the NIST servers. Um, however, there are instances where you might not have the ability to do that. Now, the ICOM 705 is unique in that it has the GPS receiver built in, and I think it has the ability to be able to pull the time from that GPS as well. So maybe there are some other approaches for that one, but the ICOM 7300 does not have any of that functionality natively built in. Now, you may not have noticed this, or maybe you have, but the 7300 actually suffers from a slight time imbalance problem, right? Like the cosmic universe is shifting around the, the 7300, and it actually loses time um, progressively over time, right? So I'm not sure what that graph looks like, but time over time is a song, I think, right? Time after time. Uh, after time, yeah, that's right. Um, so, <laughs> the, the 7300 loses time and uh, eventually it's just going to be really wonky compared to anything else. Um, and you also don't have the ability to set the second or down to the second on it, so it's just to the minute. So it's always going to be a little bit off from everything else. So now you have the ability to fix that issue. And so in order to get the time synchronized on the radio, it has to come from a computer. And ICOM has had the theoretical command structure, not the theoretical, it, the command structure has been there for a while. However, uh, being able to employ it has been a little bit tricky. Um, you know, there are a few folks that have written specific scripts to be able to synchronize the time, but this is the first time that ICOM has released any software that has allowed it to be done directly. Now, this applies to the ICOM 705, the 7100, the 7300, the 7600, the 7610, the 7850, and the 9700. So, this should apply fairly equally to, to most, if not all, of those radios that I just listed. So, let's dive into the software, uh, how you download it, how you install it, how you run it, and see how you can get this really awesome time synchronization for yourself. Start by navigating to the ICOM Japan website and finding the support download section then scrolling all the way to the bottom until you find the firmware and software. At the bottom you should see the time adjustment software and click on the link to open that up. Here's the normal description of the software. Scroll to the bottom and you're going to, going to have to accept their terms, then click download. Once you download, you'll extract the zip file. 
And once it's extracted, you'll run the executable. And from here, it's pretty much a normal Windows installation. And it may take a few minutes, but it'll get there. Go ahead and keep clicking Next. And then eventually you're going to click on Finish. And then it's installed. Next, you'll plug in the USB cable to your computer and to your radio. If you've never had your radio connected to a computer before, go into the menu and into the settings, choose connectors, and then choose USB serial function and make sure that it's set to CIV. Then go into the CIV settings just so that you know where they are and what they're currently set to. These are the settings that I'm using and they worked fine for me. Then go back into Windows, scroll through your listing of programs installed, find the ICOM software, click on it to open. And once it's opened, you should see your radio listed there. Then you're going to click on run. It will run and then it will let you know that the clock has been updated. Click OK. And that's pretty much it. Your radio's clock is now updated and synchronized with your computer's clock, which is probably synchronized with NIST. Let's go back to the program for a minute, though. There is a button to create a shortcut, which if you click on it, it will tell you that it did that. It created a shortcut on your desktop. And if you close the program out and then run the shortcut directly from the desktop, it will update your radio's clock without ever having to open up the full program. But back in the full program, again, there's really not a whole lot else to see. It's worth noting that the CIV address can be manually set, but aside from that, that's pretty much it. Whether you're operating remotely and needing to coordinate multiple radios together, or you just want all of the radios in your shack to be synchronized, the new software from ICOM should be helpful. And if you found this video helpful, I would really appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up, consider subscribing, and of course sharing. All of those are helpful to us. Hopefully we'll see you next time. Until then. At the tone, one hour, zero minutes, coordinated universal time. <phone rings> National Institute of Standards and Technology Time, this is radio station WWB, Fort Collins, Colorado, broadcasting on internationally allocated standard carrier frequencies of 2.5, 5, 10, 15, and 20 megahertz, providing time of day, standard time interval, and other related information. Inquiries regarding these transmissions may be directed to the National Institute of Standards and Technology, radio station WWV, 2000 East County Road 58, Fort Collins, Colorado, 80524.